Welcome to the SAS.how How-To series, in which we aim to answer questions posed by our community. I'm Alex Huma, CEO of SASDOC, which helps companies get traction, grow, and scale through our community, conferences, and content. And today, I'm joined by Darren Chait, co-founder and COO of Hugo. Uh, and welcome, Darren. Thanks, Alex. Good to be here. The question, Darren, asked by our community today is, how do you stress test your runway? Yeah, great question, especially in this climate uh, with COVID-19 and everything we're all dealing with. A um, few things we've learned about stress testing our runway. First thing um, is having a good model. So you might not be a, come from an accounting background or, or be in finance, um, but having a spreadsheet, Google Sheet, where you can think through um, all your expenses and what the, the, the burn rate of your business month um, from, from month one through to the end of your runway is really important. Um, sounds obvious, but that's the base to being able to think through any strategy and stress testing your, your runway. So when you've got that in place, um, you need to really think through every cost. Um, if you do have an accounting function or have an accountant helping you out, look at your profit and loss statement for the last three months, figure out what you're spending money on um, and, sp and look forward um, 12, 18, 24 months, however long beyond the cash you've got available to you um, to really work out what you're going to be spending money on. And one of the pitfalls that we've come across is it's not just the monthly expenses like paying your team or contractors or AWS expenses. It's also the annual things, some of the taxes, annual SaaS contracts, events, um, your legal costs for raising money. Um, you really need to think through everything you're spending money on. Um, so looking at your profit and loss and, and financial statements, or even just going through your credit card bill. So then you've got your, you've got your model, you've got this spreadsheet that's got all of your expenses month on month. Um, and this is where it gets strategic about stress testing. What we do is we build alternatives. So I go and clone that Google sheet and look at every possible scenario. The, the best case scenario where everything goes great, revenue's growing, or you're able to close that next round sooner than you thought, and the worst case scenarios. Now you can't think of everything, um, 2020 is a great example there. Uh, but what would happen if you didn't achieve that growth? What would happen if you had to make that other hire to get to that release? Um, or if your rent went up or whatever it may be. And, and coming up with all those scenarios allows you to see where you'll be with each of them. The best case there is that you know when something hits positive or negative, it's very easy for you to jump into the, your shoes there. Um, my co-founder refers to this internally as our WAPA, which is the concept of the war operation plan response from war games, a movie. Um, and basically it's knowing what happens in each scenario. When something great happens, when something concerning happens, we already know the impact on our runway. Um, once you've then understood all those scenarios, the biggest bit of advice I can give is not to dwell on it. Um, spending time every day and every week thinking through the impact um, of these small outcomes on your runway is a huge distraction and it's too granular. Things change too quickly. You can close a big contract on the last day of the month or you can receive some bad news about some, some other expense uh, the next month. What, what we do is we allocate time every month to look at where we spent money Again, that might be reporting if you do have some sort of internal external accounting function or just looking at how much cash is in the bank, seeing your actual versus planned, what did we spend last month versus what did we think we were gonna spend? And most importantly, updating the rest of the runway. So you've then got an, the runway that's becoming based on less and less assumptions each month. So we thought that our AWS bill was gonna be this much next month. We've now learned that actually it's only gonna be that much. Let's carry that forward. Um, so your, your financial models, your cash flow models becoming more and more relevant. Um, and, and, and to really to summarize on the stress testing bit, it's about trying out all those scenarios, the positive, the negative, um, playing with the Google Sheet there. So you can sleep easy at night knowing what's going to happen if everything doesn't go to plan um, or if the great news and, and, and everything's growing up and to the right, you can make better decisions. Should you hire more staff? Should you spend more on marketing? Should you, you, know, you take the whole team to Dublin for SAS like 21? Whatever it may be. Um, you've, you've, you've got that there. Amazing. Well, well, Darren, thank you so much for answering that question from a community on how to stress test your runway. Um, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thanks, Alex.